that is the transition, which merges what the two senators said. Senator, because the truth is, if you have a buy-in over a four or five year Senator, period, you I, move us to single payer more quickly. Senator, we will get to this. We will get to this. I, I understand. I, before we do, I, I want to say hello and good evening. Buenas noches to uh, Mayor uh, Buttigieg. Buenas noches. Gracias de invitarnos. Gusto en verlo, caballero. Many of your colleagues on stage support free college. You do not. Why not? Sure. So college affordability is personal for us. Chasten and I have six-figure student debt. I believe in reducing student debt. It's logical to me that if you can refinance your house, you ought to be able to refinance your student debt. I also believe in free college for low- and middle-income students for whom cost could be a barrier. I just don't believe it makes sense to ask working-class families to subsidize even the children of billionaires. I think the children of the wealthiest Americans can pay at least a little bit of tuition. And while I want tuition costs to go down, I don't think we can buy down every last penny for them. Now, there's something else that doesn't get talked about in the college affordability debate. Yes, it needs to be more affordable in this country to go to college. It also needs to be more affordable in this country to not go to college. You should be able to live well, afford rent, be generous to your church and Little League, whether you went to college or not, that's one of many reasons we need to raise the minimum wage to at least $15 an hour. Jose, uh, I've got $100,000 in student loan debt myself. Uh, let I'll me get you, to you. In, you can't I, count on the people who've been in government for the last 30 years who were around when this problem was created to be the ones to solve it. It's going to be the next generation, the 40 million of us who can't start a family, can't take a good idea and start a business, and can't buy our first home. This is the generation that's going to be able to solve student loan debt. This generation is ready to lead. Uh, Mr. Yang, your, your signature policy is to give every adult in the United States $1,000 a month, no questions asked. That's right. Uh, I think that's like $3.2 trillion a year. How would you do that? Sorry? How would you do that? Oh, so it's difficult to do if you have companies like Amazon, trillion dollar tech companies paying literally zero in taxes while they're closing 30% of our stores. Now, we need to put the American people in position to benefit from all these innovations in other parts of the economy. And if we had a value added tax at even half the European level, it would generate over 800 billion in new revenue, which combined with the money in our hands, it would be the trickle up economy from our people 